We have now um, two colleagues, two representatives from uh, Mercury here on stage. First of all, Will Sangster is the president Europe, Middle East, Asia of Mercury Marine. And uh, his colleagues told me the legendary John. <laughs> <laughs> Product manager, engines, Mercury Marine. I think for Correct. a couple of years. Yeah? Yep. Gentlemen, the stage is yours. Thank you very much. Yeah, well, thank you very much. And everyone, thanks for being part of today. Uh, it's an honor for Mercury to be actually presenting on the Blue Innovation stage, uh, sponsored by a great friends group, Beneteau. And uh, hopefully you would have heard, but we had a, a, a very strong day yesterday in launching Mercury's position in the electric propulsion market within Europe. Uh, we had uh, a fantastic launch event yesterday. This is the, our first uh, variant within the electric propulsion uh, uh, family, which is the 7.5e Avatar uh, electric motor. This motor, it's been uh, designed from the ground up with the boater in mind. How a boater uses this particular engine is how we design this product. We didn't want to be first to market, but when we bring a product to market, we want it to absolutely meet the consumer's needs. This is the first engine within a group of five that we see within 2023. And uh, what we wanted to do is just give you a little bit of insight into how we've approached electric propulsion from, I guess, a, a traditional engine perspective. This is all new for Mercury. This is highly exciting. We are highly committed to electric power of the future. And this is obviously our first foray into the market. So uh, it's, a, uh, it's a, a very innovative product. We we're on the water on Friday. We actually had the product on various types of boats that are used within this market and markets all around Europe. And although it's a learning curve for us, we were, highly, um, we were very, very, very happy with the way that this particular product uh, performed. So firstly, what we're going to do is just show you a short video on, on the Avatar product and what it brings to market. And then the famous John, who has been with our company for quite some time, is going to run you through the features and benefits of this particular product that, that are unique to Avatar and what you'll see running through our entire range over the next year and beyond. So we might just flick onto the video if possible. So a very quiet video. I thought there was going to be some music to that, but anyway, we're in a silent, silent area. But uh, what I will say is you can just get a feel for the way we've approached the design of this particular product. And what I'd like to do now is just introduce John just to run you through some of the unique features on this particular unit that will run through our entire range as we work up the portfolio. John. Thank you, Will. Good afternoon, everybody. So we thought it uh, probably would be best if we bring a motor here and walk you from top to bottom to uh, the features that we have in this new product. And as Will mentioned, there is supposed to be sound with the video, but the electric boating is silent, so <laughs> that probably <laughs> illustrates very good. Uh, in fact, as a matter of fact, you hear the splashing of the water if you use electric propulsion, and uh, that's the same with the Avatar. So, um, what we've done at Mercury, uh, we produce uh, internal combustion outboard engines since uh, 30, uh, 1939, so that's quite a long time. And uh, we have brought uh, many of the innovations that we have in our outboard, in our internal combustion outboard products into the Avatar product line. And we're going to talk about the features from top to bottom, all right? What you'll see first is uh, a similar feature that we have also in our bigger outboard motors. We have a little garage door here that you can lift open. And then the battery is in a little sledge here inside. And you can take out the battery, OK? 
and then you can charge the battery separately for the motor, but there's no wires that you need to connect. If you want to go boating, you simply take the battery, you slide it into the sledge, and it's in, and there you go. Okay. Inside the engine hood, okay, there is even a connection for our dealer network. You know, we have more than 3,000 dealers in the uh, Europe, Africa, Middle East region. All these dealers already have service tools and service equipment that they use to service our internal combustion engines. And they can use the exact same tools, the exact same uh, software, to also test this Avatar product line. So they just click in or connect the existing tools and they, they can test it. Then in addition to that, you won't see it, but on this side of the tiller handle, we have the lanyard switch or the kill switch, the man over board switch. And we use the same type of lanyard switch that you see in our outboard motors. And in case they lose that little fork that goes in here, there is a spare lanyard underneath the hood here they can use to then get home if they lose that lanyard, which is here. Okay, so all kind of nice features in this motor here for the battery. State of charge, you can check on top of the battery. There's a little button that you can push and then you can see the state of charge of the battery. Very easy to do. Then the next feature on the top part of this motor is a display. We use a full color display that has the similar features that you find on comparative uh, electric outboards, but it's full color and that's the big difference. So it's easy to see in bright sunlight. It's, there's even a little shade on top. You can scroll to the screen, you can switch on the motor here, and then you can uh, read all the functionality that you have in the, in the screen, like range and you know, everything that you see in a normal electric outboard. And John, there's a, oh. and John, there's a mobile experience too, isn't there? There's an app that can give yes, you exactly the yes, same. Yes, yes, yeah. right, Will, and well, I'll get to the app in a second. Okay. All right. Then, in addition to that, if we move on to the middle part of the engine, so the transom bracket assembly, this is the transom bracket assembly where the engine mounts on the transom, the tiller handle has features that you also see in our internal combustion engines. You can operate this motor with either your left hand or your right hand. Okay, you can set the rotation of the, of the throttle handle with, uh, at, in the screen and you can also move the tiller handle 12 degrees from left to right. Okay? If you have a white boat, you want to have the handle close to you, you can put it close to you. If it's a small boat, you want to have it a little further away, and you can move it further away. The tiller handle, in addition to that, can move up and down in various positions. And as you've seen on the video, you can also tilt it down, and then you can carry the motor with the tiller handle. Then uh, moving it from left to right can very easily be done on our internal combustion engines. You need to release a little Allen head screw. Here you can just lift the button and you can move it from left to right. Very easy. Then the next unique feature that we have is the bracket can stay on the transom of the boat and you can lift the whole motor out of the transom bracket to reduce the weight, okay? And you reduce the carrying weight by two and a half kilograms because this bracket is two and a half kilograms. We made it very sturdy and strong because that's how we also built our outboard products. We have a lock strike test, okay? Where we run every outboard against a lock underwater, okay? It tilts up and then nothing can break. And the same rigorous testing that we use on our internal combustion engine is also applied to the Avatar product line. So it's a very sturdy and strong transom bracket that won't break or won't break away. Then if we move on, you'll see little carrying handles here. Okay. On the other side of the bracket here, we have a, uh, a lever that you can pull back and then you can tilt the engine up and you can put different positions. Okay. If you go in shallow water, you can put it at the higher position. If you tilt it all the way up, Okay, then that will go, it's supposed, oh, supposed to go down. Okay, similar functionality as we use on our 899 internal combustion engine. Exactly the same functionality that we have there with the different tilt positions. Then electric outboards are silent. They are supposed to be silent. That's synonymous for electric boating. We've made it even more silent. We have engineered the sound of this electrical motor. We have special insulation 
uh, material inside this uh, midsection here to make the sound very, very quiet and also pleasant to listen to because electric motors sometimes can make a whining noise. Okay? So we've done a lot of engineering work to make it very quiet and nice to listen to. Moving down to the bottom of the uh, output motor here, we are using an, what is called an anti-ventilation plate. Why do we use an anti-ventilation plate? Because a propeller, when it goes to the water, okay, it tries to suck air from the surface okay, into the propeller blades. And that's why many of the electric outdoors out there are installed a little bit too low in the water. That causes the, the, the operators to strike submerged subjects. Okay? And what we've done, we've used the anti-ventilation plate and our specifications for the motors are also short shaft, long shaft and extra long shaft similar to our internal combustion engines. So the specifications for boats follow the exact same specifications that we have for the internal combustion engines. Then down in the motor area, we were using a transfer flux technology motor. Transfer flux technology motors are used in the industry, for example, conveyor belts. Okay, in the past they were using radial flux motors or other technologies and they had to use small gearboxes to get the suitcases or any materials in factories to move along these conveyor belts. Transfer flux technology is a very high torque uh, electric motor design. That will enable us to run a low RPM and a three blade big propeller with big blade volume. We use a three blade propeller again to help to reduce the vibrations because noise and vibration harshness is one of the most important pillars within mercury marine products. We want to have the noise and vibration harshness as low and silent as possible, similar to what we do in our internal combustion engines. So that's why we use the transfer flux technology. So the 7.5V is the first of the three motors that we will be releasing. We have the 7.5V, and 7.5V stands for 750 watts. 750 watts is the output of the motor assembly. Then the next motor in line that we will be releasing is the 20, that is on our booth in hall 3, and the 35E. And 20E stands for 2000 watts, 35 for 3500 watts. It's as simple as that. That's how we designate the models in the Avatar lineup. We will have configurations short shaft, long shaft, extra long shaft in both the 7.5, the 20 and the 35. We will have tiller handle versions and remote control versions. And there's also something to tell about our remote controls. They, of course, as all Mercury remote controls and rigging meets IBIC standards. So you can bump into the remote control with 35 kilograms and it's not supposed to go into forward as a safety measure. These remote controls are available in a top mount control that you can see on one of the pictures here on the right hand top corner. But we also have a panel mount control that can be installed on the port side of the boat and a panel mount control that can be installed on the starboard side of the center console. Okay? Because if you go around and you look at all the elect most of the electric boats on the show, you will see that many of the controls are installed on the starboard side of the uh, central console. So a full suite of rigging equipment. The display that you'll find in front of the motor here is also available as a separate standalone display that can be installed flush in the helm or on a little pedestal. So um, that's for the controls. And then last we have, uh, of course, the batteries. We talked about the battery that we use on a 7.5E. For the 20 and the 35E, we have a portable battery. And that portable battery is the same weight as a fuel tank of 20 liters. It's about 24 kilograms. That battery will have the same functionality as the small portable battery. Uh, it's also a portable battery, but it will also have that button where you can see the state of charge. And then obviously we will also come out with larger batteries in the future. Then we will have five chargers, 
The 7.5V is a standard shipped with a 110 watt uh, charger, and it's a smart charger developed by our by a Brunswick company called Mastervolt. Okay, so you can they do this for many many years, and we go up to a 3,050 watt charger, and then we have uh, different sizes in between for the larger motors that we'll be coming out with. And then last, as Will mentioned, we have an app. The 7.5e, um, you will need to install a module. And on the 20 and 35e, the module is standard installed from the factory. And this app will have enhanced features. The app will have, for example, fault codes. So if something goes wrong with the motor, it will collect the fault codes and you can call them back. Okay? It will have the possibility for social media connections. And maybe some of the people here are familiar with the Mercury Vessel Fuel Mobile that we use on our internal combustion engines. So the app for the Avatar product line has further been enhanced to have more features. On the electric motors, there will be tutorials to uh, explain the customer how the product works. The fault codes that I just mentioned, there will be eco um, uh, uh, a functionality in the, in the app function. It's a very extended app that we will supply with that uh, app. And the app is free to download from the internet. Okay. And I think that's basically everything that I wanted to cover on the 7.5e. Fantastic, John. And I think anyone that knows Mercury, we've been around for over 80 years. And what we've tried to do, or what we have done, is integrate the learning uh, uh, into this particular engine that we have gained over 80 years of listening to boaters, listening to people use their boats within the smaller horsepower segment. So you can see features within this particular product that a lot of you will actually relate to in your previous boating experience. But what we've been able to do, to do is now meet the new boaters' needs in bringing that to electrification. So it's a pretty exciting time for Mercury. Uh, this is the first variant and you'll see a lot more from Mercury to come in the electrification space. And, and thank you for all listening. Thank you for coming. And uh, if you come to our booth, which is in Hall 3, three uh, we've also got the two other variants so you can have a look at the different sizes and the different look and feel. So thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Any questions? The most crowded audience we had. Yeah, today. thank you very much. Yeah. Hang around. Very, I think we win. Very nice. <laughs> Any questions? The engine is ready to take away in Hall 3, I guess? Yes, yeah, so come to Hall 3. This is the commercial variant. Um, we've got pricing, release for sales. Uh, middle of the year, we're just getting our stock up in Europe so that you don't have to wait for product. Um, and we're really looking forward to basically um, making sure that every, every European waterway in the summer sees a few of these floating around. OK. Thank Great. you. Thank have you a good much. show. Eh? Bye. So we wait a little bit until the Engine has been uh, taken again back to Hall 3.